morning, everybody. How are we today? Is it cold? Got Jason joining us today. Today's class is just going to be nice and gentle. We're just doing a full body stretch. Hi, Annie. Welcome to wear your comfy clothes today. You don't even have to be in tights. Just keeping yourself nice and warm. We won't be doing anything too, too fast today. We won't be getting that heart rise, heart rising. We'll just be warming up our body slowly. So put on a jumper, make yourself as warm as you can be. And we'll just start in a few moments. <clears throat> Just getting heavy and sinking into the yoga mat, into the earth. Feeling your lower back flush to the ground. Relaxing your head, neck and shoulders down. Just relieving all that pressure from our spine, our lower back. Stretching out the left leg long. Just hugging that right knee into your body. Be mindful that you're not opening up from the hips and pulling your knee out to the side. Keep it right on top of you as if it's coming up to meet your shoulder. to lift our left leg so it's hovering off the ground. So just a couple of inches off the ground, hovering that left leg, point your toes. Take an inhale, we're going to lift our torso up off the ground, head, neck and shoulders, just like you're trying to get your knee to your nose. Pointing your toes here, engaging through the core. Inhale, exhale, down we go. Taking your right hand to the inside of your right leg, grabbing hold of the arch of your foot, we're opening up into a half happy baby. So pulling that knee down to the ground, making sure that our left glute is not rising off the earth, that everything is grounded. You can put your left hand on that left hip if you want to teach it how to stay down, guide it down back to the earth. Continuing to breathe, <clears throat> feeling that stretch down the inside of the right leg. You might feel it in your, feel it in your left hip flexor too. Take one more inhale. We're going to bring that right leg into the body and we're going to keep it bent and drop our ankle down to sit on top of our left knee. So we're creating a number four with our legs. So let that ankle sit just above the knee, not on top of your kneecap, just above. We're going to place our hands down beside us, palms to the earth, fingers spread wide. Engaging in our core, our mula bandha, our deep abdominal muscles. We are going to keep the right, um, right leg bent, left leg straight and pointed. 
We're going to raise that leg up to the sky, nice and slow. Using our core, bring it up until your toes are facing the ceiling. So if you can't straighten that leg, don't worry, you're welcome to keep it bent. Just point your toes and keep our core engaged. Relaxing our shoulders down, making sure we don't lift through our chest or our neck as we do this again. We're going to lower down with control. Gently waking up our core. Gently resting that foot back on the ground. Letting the gravity take that right knee down to the earth. Inhale, up we go. Holding here nice and strong, belly back to spine. And down we go with control. Nice and gentle. Relaxing the face muscles. Gently lowering down to the ground. One more now, up to the ceiling, engaging in the core, relaxing the upper body. Leaving our right leg where it is, we're going to bend the left knee, scoop our arms through, and grab hold behind your thigh. And gently pull that right leg into the body. Pushing away with our right elbow, Helping that right knee externally rotate out to the side. Pulling in with the left side. Find your stretch. Relaxing the upper body. Trying not to clench in the jaw. Continuing to breathe deeply. One more inhale, exhale, uncrossing the legs and hugging your knees back into your chest. Find any movement that feels good for you right now, if you want to rock side to side, if you want to draw some circles one way and then the other with your knees. with ourselves today, nurturing ourselves, being calm and soft, and releasing the right leg out long, pulling the left knee in, keeping it on top of the body, not letting it fall out to the side, pointing our toes and feeling that stretch. start to turn on, start to work and get warm. Take another inhale and bring our nose up to meet our left knee. Nice and gentle, warming up through the body. Lowering the head, neck and shoulders. And then our right leg. Taking the left hand into the arch of the left foot, opening up into our half happy baby. Slowly now, keeping that right glute grounded to the earth. Using your hand to guide that hip down. Show it the way. Feeling our hip joint opening up, our adductors on our left hip flexor on our right. Continuing to breathe deep. Neck muscles 
muscles relaxed. Maybe closing down our eyes to limit our distractions. Take one more breath here. Now keeping that left leg bent, place that ankle above the right knee, making our number four. Let gravity take that left knee down to the earth. Just take a breath here, feeling everything melt away. our toes, engaging the core here, getting ready to lift that leg, making sure that our upper body is relaxed, we're just working our abdominals and our lower body, point the toes, take an inhale and slowly rise our right leg up to point towards the sky. If you can't straighten that leg, welcome to have a bend in there, just keep your toes pointed and everything engaged. Lowering down now with control. Placing our palms on the earth if we want to have some more stability. Fingers spread wide. Gently down. Let gravity take over once we're there. Inhale, rising up, toes pointed. Belly button to spine. Don't clench in the jaw. Are you frowning? Are your teeth clenched, your lips pursed, relaxing the face, lowering back down with control, making sure our left knee is out wide. Once you hit the earth, let everything relax. Last one, inhale, up we go. Pointing our toes. Holding once we get to the top. Exhale, bending that right leg, right knee, bringing our arms through, gripping behind our thighs, and pulling that left foot into the chest. Using that left elbow to push the knee away from the body. Stretch in our hip and our glutes. Keeping everything relaxed. Take one more inhale. Exhale, releasing the legs, hugging the knees into the chest again. Take your movement, whatever feels good for you right now within your body. Take a few moments to rock back and forward, forward, side to side. We've got a few more people joining us today. Alicia, Sonia, good to see you ladies. Take our arms out wide now, creating a T, a T shape with our arms, keeping your knees up. Create tabletop with our legs, a 90 degree angle between our shins and our thighs. We're going to drop our legs gently to the right. So keeping your knees pushing together, ankles pushing together, gently lowering them down. Taking our gaze across our left fingers. Pushing the right shoulder forward, left shoulder down to the earth, finding our twist. One more inhale and exhale. 
exhale. Inhaling knees back up to center, pushing them together, core engaged, bring them up as if they're one leg, and lower them down to the left as if they're one. Slowly and gently finding our twist to the left, taking our gaze over our right fingers. Pushing the left shoulder forward, right shoulder down. Breathing deep into our stomachs, although it might be harder while we're all twisted up like this. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, Mulubandhu engaged, legs together, back up to the center. From here, we're going to cross our right leg up and over the top of our left. So, as if we're sitting up with our legs crossed, we want to be able to, our, our feet are coming away from the body. So, this is our reclined cow face pose. So place your hands on your knees, then run your hands down your shins and grab a hold of your feet. So we're trying to keep our knees on top of each other here. So thighs pushing together, knees stacked, feet out wide. Feeling the stretch in our hips. Head, neck and shoulders relaxed. You can push up and away with your feet and then pulling in with your hands. The more you do this, the more stretch you will feel. Keeping our tailbone to the earth. Take another inhale here. Exhale, release gently with the hands and swapping our legs over. Left leg on top, finding our knees together, stacked one as close to the other as we can, placing our hands on our knees. Running our hands down the front of our shins, grabbing hold of our feet wherever we can, keeping our knees together. Find the stretch on the other side. Pushing your feet up and away, pulling in with your hands. You might feel that one side is completely different to the other. And this is normal. We're just listening to our bodies, acknowledging where it is today. No judgment. No comparison to what you were the day before. Or comparing to someone who's doing the class right next to you. Close down your eyes and just feel your body. Take an inhale. Release gently now. Unravel the legs, knees to chest. This time we'll take a few gentle rock and rolls up to a seated position. So as slow as you like, as many as you like up to you today. We find ourselves in our cross-legged position. Sitting nice and tall. Place your hands on your knees, close down your eyes and just take a breath. Exhale through the mouth if you want to. Sigh it out. Just breathe through your nose. Sitting tall now, belly button to spine, feeling that spine lengthen, your crown of your head reaching up to the sky. Take your left hand to the ground. Bending from the elbow, taking that right arm up and over. Keeping both of our bum cheeks planted to the earth. 
find that your right hip is lifting, then just straighten out that left arm a little bit more. Pushing away that left palm into the earth, feeling that stretch deepen in the right side body, looking up and under the armpit. We're just gonna take that right arm and we're gonna round to the front, taking our hand out to the front, following with our body, leaning forward and swapping like a big semicircle. Right hand now to the earth, left hand up and over, pushing away, twisting our heart up to the sky, looking under that left armpit. Take an inhale and we draw our semicircle, left fingertips tracing a circle in front of us, our chest coming down. Right arm making the half circle and we find our twist. Left shoulder pushing forward here, chest opening. Take an inhale. Exhale, drawing our circle to the front, swapping our hands, drawing our circle. Sitting up tall again. Release your breath, hands to our knees. Exhale. Shooting ourselves forward now into our tabletop position, all fours. Wrists underneath our shoulders, knee under, knees underneath our hips. Pull the bunter engaged, take a big inhale, dropping our belly. Tailbone up to the sky, guiding up to the ceiling. Exhale, tucking under, curving through our spine, finding our cat, pushing away with our shoulder blades. Now finding your pace, following your breath now, continue this a few times. Inhaling to drop the belly, exhaling to suck it back in, rounding through the spine. Smooth movement, linking it all together. Just taking a moment to recognize how amazing our bodies are and the movement that it gives us. The freedom to move, to dance, to run. tabletop, neutral spine, toes together, knees out wide, taking an extended child's pose, pushing our bottoms back, hands long in front of you, walking your fingers as far as you can away, planting your palms, maybe pushing away from the earth with your hands so that your bottom reaches your heels, and allow your head to just relax onto the mat. Deep, feeling your rib cage expand as you inhale, feeling your belly get bigger. Exhale, feeling it all come back together. Inhale, lift yourself up slightly. We're going to walk our hands over to the left side. You might want to come off your yoga mat, feeling that deep side stretch, keeping the weight even in your knees. For a little bit more, you might want to turn your head to the left and place your cheek on the ground, finding your deep stretch through the right side body. Taking our full breaths into our belly. Just a little bit and slowly walking our hands to the right. Taking your time now, maybe laying onto the left cheek if 
let that feeling take you a little bit more. Nice and gentle. Just take a few breaths in your extended child's pose. From here, pushing back up onto all fours. Fingers spread wide. We're going to tuck under our toes and find our first downward facing dog for the day. So nice and slowly, gently lifting your knees up, straightening through the legs, and just take a moment here to warm up however you want to, bending one knee on the other, maybe rolling your ankles or pushing up onto your toes, never forgetting those little joints in our toes. When you're ready, find stillness. All four corners of the feet holding you strong. The weight spread evenly through your fingers and your palms, letting your head just hang. We're going to take an inhale. We're going to shoot that left leg up and back. No need to go high. Just facing our foot towards the back, making sure that our hips are level. We're going to bring it through. Bending through the knee, taking our weight forward into our arms, stepping forward into our high lunge. So lowering down that knee now, untucking the toes, engaging through the core. We're going to bring our arms up into our low lunge, so sinking nice and deep, making sure that our knee is above our ankle, not coming in front of our feet or behind. Just check your hips, are they both facing the front? Pushing that left hip back, right hip forward. Now we're gonna take our weight back, forming our runner's lunge. Our arms are just gonna swoop down and back. We're gonna flex that foot and our hands are gonna come up so that our, we're twisting our wrists. Our palms are facing outside. Our thumbs are towards the ceiling pinkies are towards the ground. If you're having trouble balancing, you're welcome to tuck under your toes again. Otherwise, pushing away from the earth with the top of your foot. Inhale, arms scooting up and back, coming forward into our low lunge, keeping our belly button engaged to our spine the whole time, not relaxing in our core at all. It's keeping us balanced and strong. Shoulders down away from our ears. Exhale, scooting back. Hands just brushing past the earth, turning now, rotating them in. Thumbs to the sky. Pinkies to the ground, flexing through that left foot, runner's lunge. One more now, more of under engage, slowly coming through. Up we go. This time on our exhale, we are reaching that left hand back, bending that right leg, and just grabbing a hold of that foot. If you've got sore knees, feel free to grab some kind of cushioning, or you might want to roll your yoga mat just on top of itself or underneath your knee. We're finding our twist, arm up to the sky. Beautiful, lower that foot again into our lunge, pull back into our runner's lunge. Exhale. Planting our palms now to the earth, 
Scooping that left foot back to meet the right, we're finding our plank pose. We're taking a little vinyasa and then we'll do that on the other side. So chaturanga, inhale, exhale, down we go. Elbows close to the body. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, depending how warm you are. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal it out. Feel the difference in your hips now that you've stretched out one side. Find stillness, strong through the four points of our body touching the earth. This time our right foot reaches up and back, heel to the back wall, hips level here. Bending that knee, come on through. Right foot steps into our high lunge. Take a moment here, just one breath. Lower down that left knee. You can untuck your toes. We're coming up into our high lunge. So our inner thighs pushing together. Our hips to the front, pulling that right hip back, pushing that left hip forward. Sinking down. Your knee is in line with your ankle. Take an inhale here, exhale, keeping our core engaged, pulling back into our runner's lunge, flexing through that right foot, rotating our hands away from our body, thumbs to the sky, palms facing out and away, pinkies to the earth. You can tuck under the left toes if you need some help with the balance. Inhale, slowly coming back through, rolling through that leg, arms turning to face each other now, up we go. Taking your gaze up to the sky if you'd like to try the balance. Exhale, pushing back. Rotating inwards from our shoulders, palms away now. Mulabandha engaged. Inhale, coming back through, rolling through the foot, up we go. Right arm dropping to the ground, reaching back, bending from the left knee, grab hold of that left foot. Ooh. Hurt my knee a bit on this side. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. Twisting now, keeping our shoulders away from our ears, making sure our hips are still facing the front, take an inhale. Exhale, slowly release, pulling back into our last runner's lunge, flipping our hands away from our body, letting ourselves fall down. Inhale, planting our palms, stepping that right foot back, finding our plank, taking our flow. Exhale, chaturanga, nice and slow. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath here. And your next inhale, bending from the knees, bringing yourself back down onto the mat. Take a child's pose. You can leave your hands to the front or you can swoop them down and behind you and let your entire upper body hang over your knees. Completely relaxed. Rock side to side or be still, listening to whatever your body wants. here we're going to come into our frog pose. So this is a deep hip opener. I suggest you face sideways on your mat for this. You might want to bring in some cushions for under your knees if you usually feel that they're a bit bony and you need some assistance. But we're going to come sideways on our mat. 
So we are opening up our knees wide. We're going to come onto our elbows and we're going to slowly walk our knees out to the side. Now our feet are not up underneath us. Our feet are out to the side as well as if we're trying to create a right angle through our legs. So coming down onto your elbows. We're letting the weight of our pelvis and our torso drop us down, opening up our stretch. Just take a few breaths here, feeling yourself stretching and lengthening. You'll find that the more you breathe, the more oxygen you send to these muscles, the more that they will release and let go and you'll feel yourself slowly dropping down closer and closer to the earth. But not pushing ourselves today, just feeling this beautiful stretch you're welcome to stay up on your elbows or if you're feeling a little bit more warmed up, you can come down onto your bellies. Letting everything relax in our hips. Take a few more deep breaths here. Maybe feeling yourself letting go just a little bit more. Tucking the tailbone under, allowing our hips to open. One more inhale in our frog pose. Exhale, try and start to just walk your feet back into your body. And then push yourself back onto your knees, onto your feet. And gently allow your knees to come together to touch. Pushing yourself back onto your toes now. Just sitting here up on our toes, on our toe squat. Just give your, your hips a little massage. That's an intense hip opening stretch. It's a pretty full on one to do when in the morning. Just give it a little massage. And then facing the front of our mat again. Come to be seated on your bottom. We're gonna take our cow face pose seated now so tucking the left leg under right leg crossing on top finding the position we had before when we were on our backs we're wanting our knees to be stacked on top of each other as much as they can be we're wanting both sits bones to be on the ground if you're feeling that you're lifting one way or the other then place a little cushion under there to level you out Look down at our legs, we want our feet to be symmetrical. So finding your cow face pose, pushing your feet away from the body, making sure they're nice and even and sit tall. From here, our left hand is grabbing hold of our right ankle. Our right hand is gonna reach up and over our head, bending from the elbow, placing our hand onto the side of our face and just letting gravity take our head down to the side, stretching through our neck. Feeling that stretch. Inhale, releasing our hands, grabbing both of our ankles now. Just see if you can come forward just a little bit for a breath or two, finding that deep stretch down the back of our glutes. Keeping our bum cheeks on the earth. Take a big inhale and an exhale. And one more like that, inhale and exhale. 
slowly pushing yourself back up. Leaning back onto your bum now, swapping our legs over. Right leg underneath, left leg on top. Stacking our knees on top of each other. Finding our position, making sure that our bottom's level, we're sitting nice and tall. Look down at your feet, are they perfectly symmetrical? Do you need to move one forward or one back? Finding that stretch, sitting tall. Right hand on top of left ankle, left hand reaches up and over. Bending from the elbow, gently resting your hand on the side of your face. And allow gravity to pull you down into your neck stretch. two breaths and our stretch on the other side. One more inhale and exhale. Pushing yourself up gently now. Unraveling our legs, just leaning back onto your hands, opening up your legs and just placing your toes, let them splay over the outside of your yoga mat. I'm just going to take a few windshield wipers here, nice and slow, massaging our upper glutes as well as we go, pushing that top hip forward and away, feeling that stretch. a stretch so to start off with we're going to take the right leg we're going to wrap it around behind us so that we're sitting beside our foot so we're not sitting on our foot our heel is beside us away from the body left leg now is going to bend we are going to place that ankle on top of the knee so we found ourselves in this stretch if this is hurting your knees then I'd advise you to put some cushions underneath your bottom. The higher we raise ourselves up, the less intense it will be. And from here, we're wanting to actively push that left knee down into the earth. And we're going to walk our hands behind us. So if you find that just here on your hands is enough, then stay here, continuing to breathe. If you want to take yourself down onto your elbows, just go one at a time, nice and slow. The weight of our left foot is holding our knee onto the earth. We don't want that right knee to be lifting off the ground at all. We want to be pushing our left knee into the ground. So our legs are just rooting to the earth nice and heavy. If you feel that you want to try and completely lay down onto your back, go ahead nice and slowly, but try not to raise that right leg off the ground. So finding your full stretch here. Relaxing gently, easing your way down, breathing deep. Trying to keep both of our bum cheeks on the ground. Take one more breath here in your version.
Noticing that left foot out in front, rocking onto the left bum cheek, straightening out both of our legs. Just give them a little shake. You might want to roll them side to side. Okay, we'll do that on the other side. So bending now through the left leg, rolling onto your right bum cheek, bringing that foot down beside you. Both bum cheeks on the ground, putting a pillow under your knee or under your bottom for some help. When you found yourself sitting nice and tall, bend through that right leg, place that right leg, the right ankle, on top of that left knee. So feeling the weight grounding down, actively pushing away the right knee to the earth. So once you've found your position here, taking your hands behind you, just seeing what it feels like here, sitting up tall, making sure that our left leg is always on the earth, never lifting off the ground. If you find it starting to lift, then just bring yourself back a little bit more. If you're feeling ready, one elbow at a time, gently lower yourself down to the ground and find this stretch. Using the weight of that right foot to push your knee into the earth. Using the muscles in your hips and your thighs to push the right knee down to the ground. If you're wanting to try to go down onto your back, take it nice and slow. Don't hold your breath. Breathe your way down, nice and gentle. Finding that stretch. Stretching deep through our hip flexor here. Relaxing the muscles in your face. Active through that right leg, pushing it down into the earth. Both of our bum cheeks on the ground. more breath. If you're laying down, gently take yourself back up to your elbows to meet the others. If you're on your elbows, gently taking yourself back up onto your hands and bringing ourselves up to seated. Straightening the right leg out, taking your weight over onto your right bum cheek, straighten out the left leg. Give yourself a gentle shake or a twist, bouncing, shaking your legs. We're going to meet in Shavasana, but before we do so, just laying down nice and slowly, just take one full body stretch, pointing your toes, pointing your fingers. Taking a big breath in, allow your belly to fill with oxygen, to stick out. And exhale. Bring your hands down to your sides, opening up your legs wide. Finding your Shavasana. Grab a cushion, grab a blankie. Getting yourself warm. Get all of the fidgeting over and done with. Scratch your nose. Maybe take your hair out. Close down your eyes. Our guided meditation today is an exercise for mindful breathing. So just start to focus on your breath now. 
Feeling the inhale and exhale. Feeling nice and comfortable. Inhaling fully and exhaling fully. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Allow your breath to find its own natural rhythm. each in-breath as it enters your nostrils, travels down to your lungs and causes your belly to expand. Notice each out-breath as your belly contracts and air moves up through the lungs, back up through the nostrils or your mouth. Invite your full attention to flow with your breath. Notice how the inhale is different from the exhale. You may experience the air as cool as it enters your nose and warm as it exhales. As you turn more deeply inward, begin to let go of the noises around you. If you are distracted by sounds in the rooms, simply just notice them and bring your attention back to your breath. Just breathe as you breathe, simply and naturally, not striving to change anything about your breath, not trying to control it in any way. Observing and accepting the experience in this moment without judgment paying attention to each inhale and exhale. If your mind wanders to thoughts, plans or problems, then simply notice your mind wandering. Watch the thought as it enters your awareness as neutrally as possible. Then practice letting go of that thought as if it were a leaf floating down a stream. In your mind, place each thought that arises on a leaf and watch as it floats out of sight and down a stream. Then bring your attention back to your breath. Your breath is an anchor you can return to over and over again when you become distracted by your thoughts. Notice when your mind has wandered. Observe the type of thoughts that hook you or distract you. Noticing is the richest part of learning. With this knowledge, you can strengthen your ability to detach from thoughts and mindfully focus your awareness back on the qualities of your breath. Just coming home to the breath with your full attention, watching the gentle rise of your stomach on the inhale and the relaxing letting go on the exhale. Allow your
yourself to be completely with your breath as it flows in and out. You might become distracted by pain or discomfort in the body or itching sensations that draw your attention away from your breath. You may also notice feelings arising, perhaps sadness or happiness, frustration or contentment. Acknowledge whatever comes up, including thoughts or stories about your experience. Simply notice where your mind went without judging it or pushing it away, without clinging to it or wishing it were different. And just refocus your mind and guide your attention back to your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Follow the air all the way in and all the way out. Mindfully be present moment by moment, connected to your breath. If your mind wanders away again from the breath, just notice without judgment because of a thought, an emotion or a sensation that hooks your attention, being gentle with ourself, guiding your awareness back to your breathing. now to expand and notice your entire body and then beyond your body to the room you are in. Deepening our breath now, coming back fully alert and awake to where we are in this present moment. Knowing that the breath is always with you as a refocusing tool to bring you back to the moment you're living. Taking a moment now to just set an intention for the rest of the day. Maybe your intention is just to be more mindful of your breathing. Maybe your intention is to take deeper breaths. Maybe you've noticed that your breaths are shallow. Just taking this moment to decide how you want to go about the rest of your day. Once you've set your intention, I invite you to bring your palms together at your heart or over your third eye. My soul recognizes your soul. I honor the light, love, truth, beauty and kindness within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, there is no distance and no difference between us. We are united, we are the same, and we are one. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's nice, slow, relaxing class and some stretching and some meditating. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and you take this beautiful, calm, nurtured feeling with you throughout the day. 
Thank you for sharing your time, your space, and your energy with Jason and I. <laughs> we'll see you in two days. <laughs>